Faruzan came out alongside Scaramouche, and we got to ask, what's good on Faruzan? And honestly, how do you build her? Well, I'm here to talk to you about that. What is going on, my dude? Stash here back again with another Genshin Impact video. And today, we are going to be talking about you know fodder's on and we're going to talk about how you should build her in comparison to probably my build because again there are some stuff that i would personally change in my build but due to time constraints i had to get fodder's on done asap but that's that's neither here nor there we're going to talk about what she can do as well also guys if you like the content please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when the next episode of these build guides come out now let's go ahead and jump right into it Now, as you guys can see, obviously, with Faduzan right here, I have her with the Favonius Warboat, but Faduzan is basically going to be a off-field sub-DPS slash D or buffer. Sorry, not debuffer. Um, but yeah, she's going to be mainly a buffer, in my personal opinion. I wouldn't use her as off-field DPS because, of course, she can't really do too much on off-field DPS except for her burst. But as you can see here, I didn't really worry too much about crit rate, crit damage, um, though she does have a lot. That That is going to be one of the things you want to focus with her, but it's honestly not your main focus on her, in my personal opinion. Your main focus is the energy recharge. And the reason being is because you're going to want to activate that burst when you're on an, a team with an Animo DPS and we'll get into that here in a second but as you can see i've almost hit that 260 threshold that's actually going to be the perfect balance if you hit 260 because of how her burst is now she's got obviously got the animo damage bonus but what, again we're going to get into that here in just a second now favonius warbow in my personal opinion is her best four star option if you're going to use her as a buffer you could use sacrificial bow to get you know two charges of your e but in all honesty i think that favonius warbow works perfect especially getting that energy recharge now as you can see crit hits have a 100 percent chance to generate a small amount of elemental particles which will generate or regenerate six energy for the character this occurs every six seconds that's actually perfect because again you want to get your energy back as much as possible with fodder's on because your burst is going to be your main thing now, you could use five-star weapons such as Elegy of the End, uh, Amos Bow, and you could even use Skyward Harp. But in all actuality, I think that the main goal for Fodder's on here is actually going to be getting that energy recharge, and your best bet is going to be Favonius Warbow. Now, let's go ahead and talk about artifacts because this is a little tricky, right? So with Fodder's on, a lot of people would be like, well, why don't you use a four piece Veridescent Veneer? Well, her burst basically has Veridescent Veneer built into it. So I would highly suggest not using Veridescent Veneer on Fodder's on. Your main ones that you should be running and the best one I think you should run is Emblem of Severed Fate. And the reason being is because that energy recharge is going to help her out exponentially. Your next best bet, two piece, uh, ah, or sorry not two piece four piece no bless i don't know why i said two piece um but four piece no bless is actually what i did here and that's to get the extra elemental damage um and not only that but you increase the elemental burst damage of all party members attack by 20 percent which is fantastic especially when you use her burst and then switch into uh scaramouche zhao hazo any of your animo type dps's so i definitely would say that the next set that I would suggest is two-piece Shinanawa, two-piece uh, Emblem of Severed Fate to get that ER and that attack bonus. But honestly, I think with her, you mainly want to focus on either getting that elemental uh, burst damage bonus or the energy recharge with energy recharge being the highest one. Now, as you can see, with main priorities of what you want with Farazan, you want to focus on energy recharge as your top priority, crit rate, crit damage as your next one, and then EM slash attack percentage. Um, I would say personally attack percentage over EM because I don't really think that she does much with EM, but, you know, if you want to go EM, you can. Now, as you can see, I did pretty well with her uh, pieces in general. Emblem of Sever Fate was such a task man i was trying to get such good uh pieces for emblem or not emblem of separate fate but uh uh noblesse and it was just difficult because noblesse pieces just didn't want to drop properly for me i did get a really good animo damage cup which is what you want for the cup for your sands you want to focus energy recharge again because you're wanting to get that energy recharge as high as possible and then on your circlet, I went with crit damage. Uh, you could go crit rate instead. Uh, honestly, I could probably switch out the two and be perfectly fine. But yeah, 
Ultimately, you want to make sure that you do an energy recharge, animo damage bonus, and then as your circlet, either crit rate or crit damage, depending on what you need. Now, I have her at C2, which is fantastic, but you really don't need her at C2 with what she's wanting or what you're going to want to do with her. Um, there are benefits, obviously, to constellations. We already know this, but just know that for what I'm about to show you guys, it's not entirely needed, but just in case, the duration of Dazzling Polyhedron created by this Wind's Sacred Waste is increased by six per, or six seconds. Fodazon can fire off a ma maximum of two Hurricane Arrows using fully charged aim shots while under the effect of a single. Basically, the charge shot, which we'll get into a little bit, is okay. It does. It's not for what I want it. Like, I'm not using Fodazon for that, just so you know. Now, let's go ahead and talk about your talent priorities. Now, again, you're not really going to focus on the charge shot, even though the charge shot is cool and can pull enemies in, which will show off a little bit. It's not needed. Your main focus is your burst. You want to make sure that your burst is as high as possible. And I got it up to seven right now, followed by your E, which is the, you know, little like just random burst. But but really, like all you're going to use for that is for the energy. Now, for this team I have here, as you can see, I have Bennett for the attack bonus, Faduzan for uh, buffing up characters and debuffing for animal resistance. Uh, you got Zhongli for shield and Zhao for DPS. Now, first things first, I kind of want to show off what I was talking about with uh, the aim shot, because honestly, it's not that crazy good in my personal opinion. So we're going to find somebody real quick. Well, actually, we're going to do this. So as you can see here, we activate that and then we can get our charge shot and see how it kind of pulled a little bit, even though it didn't pull him because he's too big of an enemy. It's the fact that you could pull a little bit. It's really not that great in my personal opinion. So you don't really need to worry too much about that. So really quick before I do that. Uh, la, 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 boom. All right. So I had to switch over so I could see my timer just to make sure everything's all kosher. So we're going to come over here and to kind of explain what we're going to do here, uh, we're going to go ahead and try and get Bennett's burst. And then once we get Bennett's burst and we get on that last uh, section of uh, Masamune's health, we're just going to go ham with Zhao. I don't know why I tried to hit him like that. Now, hopefully I don't flub up like I did with my with my Wanderer build guide. So my apologies, guys. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, so we're just going to build energy as best we can here. We need to get all the energy that we can. I'm ready. Order guide you. Too late for regret. All right. Let's light it up. Gather. I'm not going to claim to be the best Yao person, but yeah, just know. Like I said, we're just mainly trying to get all the stuff together that we need to. Solidify. Come on, Bennett. Get your burst. Come on, buddy. Bennett takes forever to get burst. There we go. I need to respect my Bennett. All right, here we go. So, boom. Activate the polyhedron and then... Now, as you can see, the damage is pretty decent. Because Faduzan is doing that uh, animo uh, resistance. So let's go ahead and I want to kind of show off. We did, I think at most, it was like 25k. Now, the reason why I'm not showing it with uh, Scaramouche is because I already did that. Uh, so I kind of wanted to show it off with Zhao. I do want to check something with my Zhao really quick. Ah, that's why. Hold on. I don't have the right weapon on him. I already flubbed up. I wasn't even paying attention to my weapon, guys. My apologies. All right. So we're going to switch weapons real quick to kind of show it off better. I don't know why I had that one. I'm like, that's only 50 out of 50, and it's not going to do well. There we go. All right. So now that we got Zhao on his right weapon... Like these little little differences do make, these little changes do make a difference, guys. Only thing that's gonna suck is I'm gonna have to get all of the uh, energy back. Masanori, shut up. Shut your face. You're gonna die. All right. So now that we have Zhao's weapon, this should be a little bit better. This is order. 
All right, so Zhao's ready to go. So first, let's take a look at this. Now, as you can see, his damage by itself, 28, 29, 28, 29, 31, okay, 35. That was a good one. Okay, so. We'll see you. Solidify. I'm just trying to get all my energy back. Come on. Dare to mess with me. Come on. One strike. Get your energy back, Zhao. Come on. Fall before me. Too late for it. Boring. Alright. We're just about there. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna get the animo resistance shredded. I couldn't even see the damage on that one. <laughs> but it was the animo resistance does obviously take effect as you saw, like with his E. When I did his E that first time, it shredded a lot. So overall Fodder's on is a fun little debuff character uh, and a buffer for Animo, obviously. Um, I would love to see her on a full Animo team. I haven't tried it out personally, but the only thing that I could think of with a full Animo team is probably doing maybe, mm, I don't know, you could do uh, Scaramouche, Fodder's on, and then Kazua for your energy buildup, and then maybe Sayu as a healer if you wanted to use healing. Um, but yeah, there's definitely plenty of options you could use with fodders on here. Uh, she's definitely a lot of fun, uh, helps out with, like I said, the animo teams in general. And yeah, I think that this is a fun little four star character. Uh, again, very niche because again, it's built on animo resistance being, uh, chopped down to pieces, but at the same time, like it, it look at Goro, Goro's fantastic for geo teams. So, but yeah, fodders on's a lot of fun. Now guys, as I've said before, these build guides are not always going to be perfect. As you've seen in the last two, I've kind of flubbed up many, many times. So sorry about that, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video and hopefully it was informative on what you could do with Fathers On. Now again, I highly recommend that with Fathers On, you're doing uh, Emblem of Severed Fate instead of Noblesse uh, because that energy recharge is definitely going to help. But if you guys like the content, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Now, Oh, excuse me, down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when the next video comes out. Guys, love you all to death. And as always, we will catch you guys in the next video. Please take care. Be safe.